the eloquent appraisals appended to Xiang Yu. It's a classical Chinese writings written by Sima Qian. It is recorded in the seventh volume of Shi Ji, Record of the History. It is a biographic sketches of emperors of Xiang Yu the Conqueror. It records the glorious heroic life of Xiang Yu and the end of the Qin Dynasty, which is more than 2,000 years ago. Xiang Yu Ben Ji, the eloquent appraisals appended to Xiang Yu, describes the life of Xiang Yu in a vivid and profound way. According to narrate the magnificent and grand historical scenes of the parent uprising and struggle between Chu and Han during that period. The military of Xiang Yu pictures a camp and Gai Xia. The number of soldiers is on the decrease. The cereals are going less and less. They are surrounded up by the troops of Liu Bang, Han Xin, and Pan Yue, layer by layer. On the night, when hearing folk songs of Chu all around them, Xiang Yu is greatly frightened and says, Has the territory of Chu already been occupied by Han Nami? Otherwise, why there are so many Chu people? within Han army. Xiang Yu gets up that very night, goes and knocks over a drink in the military tent. Sit back while reminiscing, he was accompanied by his beautiful, elegant, and graceful wife, Yu Ji, who is very loved by him. He had a Fugana horse under his courage. But at the present time, my, thereupon, Xiang Yu chants in a heroic but mournful tone. Versus by himself, I could put mountains down. Oh, it may and might. But I don't have geographical and human conditions. What can I do? How can I do? Oh, Yu Ji, my love. He sings it over and over again. Yu Ji also sings together with him. The tears course down Xiang Yu's cheeks. His imperial bodyguard's faces are also covered with tears, who couldn't look up at Xiang Yu. So Xiang Yu mounted a war horse and followed by 800 warriors subordinates horseback riding. They get through the close siege from the south. Longitudinal horse fled on the night. When this day break, Han army becomes aware of this. Guan Yin is commanded to pursue and attack Xiang Yu by leading 5,000 cavalrymen. After living through Huai He River, the number of the cavalrymen who can keep pace with Xiang Yu only left 100. When Xiang Yu makes his way to Ying Lin, he gets lost. He asks the way from a local husbandman. The husbandman deceives him and says, Turn left. When he turns left, he's entrapped in a sink cage, so he is caught up by Han army. Xiang Yu starts to lead his army to the east. When they reach the destination, there are only 28 cavalrymen left, while the Han army, who is chasing them, are more than thousands. Xiang Yu reckons he could not escape this time. He says to his men, it has been eight years since I aside and fought. I have personally experienced more than 70 battles and never been defeated. So I eventually dominate 
the country. But today, I'm stuck here. I'm paralyzed by heaven, not because of the fight of the war. Today, I will definitely fight with a rope around my hand, neck. I'm willing to fight a battle, especially for everybody. I must bear the palm for three times, get through the close siege for all of you, kill hand soldiers, chop down their flag or banner flies on high. Attendants are divided into four groups, facing four directions. Han army surrounds them layer by layer. Xiang Yu says to his soldiers, "I'm going to kill one of their generals for you." He orders his four group soldiers strike downhill simultaneously. They arrange a convention to gather in three spots of the east of the defeated hill. So, Xiang Yu fling downhill with shouting in his mouth. The Han army are defeated and routed. Sure enough, one senior general of Han army are killed. At the time, Yang Xi acts as the high-ranking military officer of Han cavalrymen to pursue and attack Xiang Yu. Xiang Yu glares and reproaches to him, which makes him like a duck in a thunderstorm. And retrogressed for miles, Xiang Yu covers us with his men and appointed three spots. Han army has no idea where Xiang Yu exactly is, so they divided the army into three parts. Surrounds again, Xiang Yu brings us out and kills another two wing of Han army and other one hundred soldiers. When he gathers and collects his cavalrymen, he finds only two of his men lost. So he asks his attendants, "How is it?" They reply in an admirable way, "It's just as you said." At this point, Xiang Yu wants to leave through to the east to Wujiang River, the Qin Chang of Wujiang River. Stop the ship in port and wait there. He speaks to Xiang Yu. Although the region of the east of Wujiang River is small, the territory is only one thousand miles vertically and horizontally. We have millions of people. It's enough to be a king. Hope you live through faster. Only I have about now. We can't live through if Han army arrives. Xiang Yu laughs and says, "The heaven wants me to die out. How can I still live through Wu Jiang River?" What's more, I and eight thousand other soldiers lived through the river eight years ago, and fight to the west. As now, no one comes back, even if. The people of the east of Wujiang River still have a tender affection for me, and treat me as a king. How can I face them once more? Even if they say nothing to me, surely it doesn't mean that I am not ashamed, uneasy in my heart. Hence, he says to Tian Chang, "I know you are an honest and tolerant senior." This is the horse with which I have gone on an expedition for five years. Sweep all before me. It covers a thousand miles in a single day. Ever, I can't bear to kill it. I set it to you as a gift. He orders his cavalrymen dismount from horses to walk on foot. With soldier weapons to fight with upcoming Han army, only Xiang Yu himself kills hundreds of Han soldiers. He also makes himself injured 
several places. Xiang Yu looks back at the cat side of Han Ame, Sima, Lu Ma Tong, speaks to him, Hi, my old friend. Lu Ma Tong says to Wang Yi, This is Xiang Yu. Xiang Yu says, I heard the king of Han post a reward of thousands of gold and high position to kill me and ask for my hand. I said this benefit to you. Finishing talking, he commits suicide by cutting his throat and dies. Other cavalrymen of Han army trample on each other and scramble for Xiang Yu's body. Dozens of people are killed because of battling for the body. At last, five people win and peace. And the body passed together. It's just right. At last, the five winners are nominated as high positions as Marquis.